Greetings, and welcome to Earthling Cinema. I am your host, Garrix Wormuloid. This week's artifact is Spring Breakers, starring unknown NYU grad student James Franco and Disney refugees Vanessa Hudgens and Selena Gomes. The film follows four human females who feel oppressed by Earth Society's attempts to pump them full of information, wishing instead to damage their brain cells with poison at a mystical place known only as Spring Break. In order to obtain the galactic credits they need to get to Flowrider, often considered to be America's scrotum, the females rob a local food factory. Once at their destination, they have an old-fashioned hootenanny. Soon, they meet a wealthy rapper-slash-drug dealer with a highly offensive name. My name's Aileen. Hey! You can't say that. Only we can say that. But whereas most humans were made of bones and skin, Alien is made of money. I'm fucking made of money. He takes the females to his house, where he implores them to examine his excrement. Look at my shit! Shortly thereafter, one of the females gets annoyed that everyone just wants to play pool all the time, so she leaves. Another one gets annoyed that everyone just wants to shoot her in the arm all the time, so she leaves. The last two stay to help Alien fight a turf war, but once they're done with that, they decide it's probably time to go study for midterms. Spring Breakers is largely a comment on American youth culture. The girls speak about authentic epiphanies and meaning they've derived from their trip. We saw some beautiful things here. So warm and friendly. Yet all we see are images of human booties gyrating, partying, and general excess. Look, that guy is smoking out of a baby. This ironic juxtaposition coyly suggests that American youth culture derived its identity purely from sexuality and gratuitous debauchery. Not to mention normal, run-of-the-mill debauchery. The camera dwells on the bodies of our protagonists, sexualizing them and fetishizing youth. It also fetishizes scooters. But come on, who wouldn't? In short, this culture was narcissistic, which is understandable considering they were trapped inside their own brains without the ability to mind merge. The protagonists refuse to be miserable. We're not gonna be miserable. So they break one of Earth's most sacred commandments, not committing armed robbery, to fulfill what they believe is their God-given right to spring break. Likewise, Alien bases his entire life around fulfilling his personal desires, no matter how long it takes to do those braids. To him, that is the American dream. Fuck everyone else, get money. This is the fucking American dream. As portrayed in the film, Spring Break is a fantasy world, a hyper-stylized reality governed only by vibrant color. Whereas scenes of the school bathroom, the jail, and the bus ride back home are presented in muted drab colors, life on the beach is bathed in neon, like a bag of hallucinogenic Skittles. Taste the rainbow. The film also features elliptical editing, moving forward and backward through time with impunity. The result often feels more like a music video than a cohesive narrative, engrossing the audience in something akin to what Earth historians call tripping balls. And when suspended in such a state, the only thing on one's mind is, I wish this could last forever. This last forever! Indeed, much of the movie explores the relationship between permanence and impermanence. The Spring Break lifestyle is an ecstatic investment in the moment. It celebrates fleeting things, like drug experiences, youth, the gangster lifestyle, joy, beauty, and Britney Spears. <laughs> Yet the idea of permanence, or forever, is one of the primary motifs of the film. This is the way it's gonna be forever. Always and forever. Like it's never gonna end. The girl's mantra is always lie to your legal guardian over the phone. I know, Mom, I'm sorry. I should have told you that I came. I'm not drinking. But their other, more important mantra is spring break forever. Spring break forever. Spring break. Ever. Perhaps spring break is a symbol for all things transient, a week where human beings can live outside the laws of society and physics, and simply let the good times roll. The film suspends the audience in a protracted state of party energy, disorientation, and sex, just like a warped drug experience, but also like a dream. Seems like a dream. Seems like a dream. And unfortunately for anyone whose body chemistry depends on a sleep cycle, eventually you have to wake up. Or hit the snooze button one more time. See if I care. Spring break forever. So, Earth enthusiasts, I've decided to experiment with a concept called democracy. In short, I leave it up to you. If you'd like to see me analyze a Pixar artifact, vote by giving Selena Gomes a little click on the cheek. If you prefer a gangster film, bust a click in Gucci Mane's face. I'm going to sit here and wait for you to make a choice.
thank you.